What's happening guys, bringing you some Battlefield free gameplay today. The beta, of course, of course, the game's not out till just after my birthday. Hooray! Maybe I'll ask my girlfriend for it my birthdays. It's not actually a game I'd pick up on my own. Now, that's not to say I'm not enjoying the beta. I am actually enjoying it tons and tons because it doesn't involve a lot of the things I hate in a usual shooter at the moment. I mean, the main game will. But this, the beta, doesn't, which is great. I'm playing the beta on console, by the way, Xbox Live, so we don't have the Caspian Sea, so that avoids all the stuff I don't like as well. And the stuff I don't like is actually vehicles. I really dislike vehicles in games. I really like the whole gun-on-gun -gun aspect of a lot of games, and which is why I nowadays kind of like rely on Call of Duty, because at least the only vehicles that are going to be around are kill streaks. And to that point, vehicles aren't awarded for people just for standing in a certain place for a certain amount of time, rather than actually actively engaging in the combat, unlike most of the people when you play the beta who just spawn a sniper class, and they stay miles back of the map, which is where I am in their spawn, trying to make sure that there's no stupid little git snipers around, annoying the hell out of everyone, because they do do that. They do do that very, very much. Revive. Oh, I love reviving this game. I do love the whole team play aspect that's the one thing i do like it's it's really funny though it's, it's a completely objective based game but there's hardly anyone that plays the objective at least on the beta i don't know how it'll be in real release but it's just like really really odd it's like all the cod boys that are waiting for modern warfare 3 have come along and it, it's so funny to call cod boys like the non-objective players and the bad players because you know battlefield 3 and call of duty they have these massive console wars this massive game war and it's just ridiculous because each pool of players is as bad as each other in how they approach games and how they treat games. There's very, very few people that know exactly how to play an objective in the correct way, and playing objective does not mean you always have to be on the objective or anything like that. Play the objective means like gaining territory, gaining ground, moving forward, pistol switch to get the fur turns around and picks up a quad. Yeah! <laughs> random, random, random. Playing the objective means more like moving forward, gaining ground, gaining territory like what I was in the previous scene. It's more like more above the B bomb point to just push forward, push their spawn and allow other people on our team to move up. Which is just like, mer. it doesn't really make sense when people are constantly rushing the objective dead on rather than thinking, well, if I go up this flank, take out everyone at the back and then constantly stop respawners, whoa, we might have ridiculous success. I've never understood that in gaming and it seems to be very, very prevalent in Battlefield, at least the beta, that people are just, like, they play the objective in a stupid way, like snipers at the back of the map thinking, yeah, I can overlook the objective, but if someone actually plants the objective, damned if I'm moving, I'm not going anywhere near it. Someone else can do that shit. It's just like most people actually spawn snipers. The ones that don't spawn snipers, they all spawn, of course, the assault class with the medics. And then, of course, those medic guys don't even use the revive function and barely use the heal function on anyone else. So it's just like selfish players are selfish no matter what game you play. They will always be bad players and good players, and they will always be team players and really, really bad players. You gotta understand what you gotta do in this game to like move on and succeed. I mean, I've been quite successful. I mean, I'm not a battle player. I don't play bad company. I don't play any other console battle. Don't play them at all. But I pretty much been first place in every single game I played on the beta. Woo! Look at me being ego braggy. Just because I understand the basics of like supporting a team, keeping a squad alive. Reviving people, macho, supporting the push, getting everyone forward onto a MCOM point. Urgh. It's just that kind of like team play aspect that some people have, some people don't. It doesn't matter if you play Call of Duty, it doesn't matter if you play Battlefield 3. It's just that way around. And there's a dog barking, I hope you can't hear it. Bloody hell, loud dog. Ah, clogging people for days in this game. Gonna get my MCOM point down, gonna plant it good. So yeah, Battlefield 3 Beta has been interesting because it's avoided the vehicles. I've enjoyed the whole gun and gun aspect of it. If Battlefield 3, for example, has a non-vehicle playlist, as it were, like a playlist where you can only spawn into maps like this one here about the vehicles, I would actually be really psyched for playing it. I would really like that. There's just certain things I hate in gaming, and that is, you know, free kill streaks in vehicles. Uh, power weapons and shields you might notice a game that also falls into my territory of not really liking that much 
And I really do prefer just that basic gun on gun kind of aspect. I do enjoy team play as well. I very much enjoy it. So it's very much in my psyche. A slow game like this. This is a very slow pacing game, which is why I've given you clips rather than a full gameplay. Because it would take forever. Oh my god, gameplays take forever. Even if you're like completely destroying people and smack snapping all the kills, they just take forever and they're so devoid of action. It's ridiculous on Battlefield. But it's fun to play, not exactly fun to watch. Meh, meh, meh. And I completely lost my point. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a fun game. I reckon, you know, I'll get it for my birthday. Uh, I'll, I'll probably ask my girlfriend, yeah. Can you pick me up a copy of that game, you know, Battlefield? I've bought too many games. I, I've absolutely bought too many games this Christmas. Uh, this Christmas. This Christmas period. Let's put it that way. Oh, quad. Oh, rambling now. I've bought too many games. I mean, I've bought FIFA. I've bought Gears of War 3. I've bought Dead Island. And I'm going to buy Battlefield 3. And then I'm going to buy... This and that and Zelda. My god, too many games, too much money, but at least birthdays can cover some of the cost. Hooray. So yeah, Battlefield 3. Tell me your thoughts on it. Tell me your opinions on it. I know I've got a mainly Call of Duty fan base, but you must have checked out the Battlefield 3 beta. So tell me your thoughts on it. Tell me your likes. Tell me your dislikes. That is all. That is the clips commentary. I hope you enjoyed all these clips. I've tried to keep it as action-packed as possible with a bit of team play based in there. Please rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you around, guys. Cheers for watching.